Welcome to Inside Science TV. They're pesky, they're dirty, and they're a nuisance. Research entomologist Chris Geddon at the USDA has been studying house flies and ways to kill them for almost 40 years. As years have gone by, the flies have become very resistant to all the insecticides. When flies land on your food, they can transmit diseases like E. coli and salmonella. So if a fly lands on a food item, it has to spit on it first in order to soften it so they can take it up. They're regurgitating organisms that can make you sick. Geddon is looking at two ways to stop flies from bugging you. First, he's using these wasps, a fly's natural enemy, to attack. The wasps sting and consume the fly at its early pupal stage. They're sort of like heat-seeking missiles. All they do is spend all day long looking for, for fly pupae. Farmers can purchase the wasps, which, by the way, don't sting humans. They have no other purpose in life but to fly, find and kill flies. Another way Geddon is targeting flies, a hormone that stops the fly from growing. So this is a synthetic hormone that'll keep the fly from ever getting from the larval stage to the adult stage. Adult flies carry the hormone known as pyroproxyphin to their egg-laying sites. Once there, it prevents the larvae from growing into adult flies, and they eventually die. It blocks them and they get stopped dead in their tracks. Two ways scientists are working to keep these common insects from bothering you. I'm Josh Lebowitz, reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.